Hey guys, it's SoPapa95. Welcome to another part of Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last part, we confronted Egil, and just as we made friends with him, we had a surprise visit from Dixon. Let's see what happens. Just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It, it's you. Yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanza's disciple. Zanza's disciple? Eagle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. The moment of Lord Zanza's return. Shulk! Get away from him! No! Surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ossie Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What? My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I'd be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead! That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Manana, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. Huh. Call that corpse a friend. Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. 
Chalk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Chalk's ability to use the Monago. And those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high end here fool. And that grunt Gaddo's miserable demise. All of it. Evil. Yes. <laughs> There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you could just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Maynard. The Mechonics! unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided, teach you the strength of their will to resist. Santa, if you choose to 
deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! We won't let you erase everyone's futures! In this fight, we have Fiora fighting alone, but her weapon, Maynith's Monado, is what this is called. In this fight, since Fiora's alone, all, all you can really do is just really art spam. If you get a chain attack built up, it means absolutely nothing. You have no other party members to assist you in using a chain attack. And also, in this fight, Zanza has the Monado Arts that we used. He has Monado Eater! Oh, snap. But, let's go for Final Cross. Let's see what happens. And we need to topple. Going for Monado Shield. He is completely invincible. You will always miss. We're running out of options to go for here. His Monado Shield's better than my Monado Shield. I'm so jealous. No I'm kidding. There's no time to be joking around. We're getting a vision. What do we have? Monado Buster. Here it goes. 14,902 damage. I don't even think I said the number right, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, in the cut in the cutscene right there, I can totally defend Amelia in what she did about almost going and killing or just attacking Dixon. After all that's going on, after how serious it was, and all that Dixon was doing was smoking a cigarette. Melia, you go, girl! Something wrong. Is this the height of your skill? You call yourself a god? And you talk of sharing this world with me! <laughs> so that's why the dead boy is important to you. The hogs are nothing but bacteria clinging to my body. They are living beings. You cannot understand this. You have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god? Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god, Maynard. May you rot in that shell for all eternity! Fiora! Face me like a god! If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends! Santa! Such a fool. This is what I wish. This world... Let it 
It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Chunks via the central factory. Let's go! Thunder, what about Egil? He'll fight Sansa to the very end. But we have our past the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone! Goodbye, my brother. Let's GTFO. Yes, let's go through the transporter and we have to get back to Junks ASAP. Alright. Luckily, there are no enemies in our path or anything, so yeah. Don't worry, there's actually no time limit for you to do this. It would actually be pretty freaky if there was like a... You know, like a, in some games when there's a certain time that you can have to do something, like there's like a... You have three minutes for me, or something like that, before like the world blows up or something, and you get a game over, or something like that, you know? I'm glad they didn't do that here, because you could sort of take your time, you know? But anyway, yeah, we just heading back up here, there's not much to talk about, I'm just walking back up here, and I do believe skip travel is disabled. So, yeah, you can't just go skip, tra skip traveling to this area and then going back to junk, so, yeah. Matter of fact, let me check that, just to be 100% sure. Yeah, and a lot of times like this, skip travel will be disabled. Just for the sake of... You know, to be sure that you don't just go skip traveling back to, like... By honest... Colony 9 or something like that, you know? But we are almost at our destination, only, uh... Anyway, yeah, we got Oil Fox. It would be pretty nice if... You know what? I'm gonna get that item orb right there. Uh, it sounds weird that I'm going to get an, an item orb at a time like this, 
But that might just be the one thing that I know it's not Noel Fox. Cause it might just be the one thing that I need for the Central Factor Collectopedia. Anyway, it's fine. Let's just get it get it out of here. I just wanted to check that. Oil Fox, I know that's not it, because you know I already have an oil fox item. But anyway, let's just head over here. And uh, Junks is right over there. Let's and <gasps> item more blue root. Nope, that's definitely not it either. I remember it being a machine part. Eh, it's fine. Let's just go over here. With the ven ven ventilation conduit. Condu uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Ventilation conduct. So, oh, conduct. Whatever it is. All right, let's talk to Mike. Let's talk to Nicole and let's get out of here. I don't know why I'd wait a little longer. <laughs> Let's go. Stop the bottles. So desperate to cling to your pathetic lives. Even when there is no hope. Alright, we have a boss fight here. I'm going to swap in Melly, Ricky, and Charla, and let's get this fight started. 
we have da -da 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 -da, if they'll get out of this Cyrene Telethia. Anyway, I want to say this right here. That's some pretty darn good storytelling right there. It's not like what a lot of games do where it's they just get like mind controlled by some thing. No, this was Dixon's plan from the beginning to use Shulk just as a way to for Zanza. That is some amazing storytelling in my opinion. That is just awesome. How they didn't take the other way out. But anyway, continuing on with this fight. It is a Telethia, so it can use Soul Reed. I'm guessing at least, and uh Emily is already dead. Come on. Alright, going for the killer shot. That is going to topple yes. I remember that. Or in this case it's going to kill. Yeah, no not really. Alright, we'll go for the elemental discharge, because I like my chill damage. And I also like my bolt. And we'll set up another earth. And here comes that soul read. I'm afraid Melee's gonna get the aggro. Because I, I, I don't know, I just I just I just feel it coming, you know? And ether particles. Not good. I I am going to go encourage Ricky, because he needs it. And he also needs that regenerative power from Summon Aqua. And, ooh, oh no, we're flicked with Art Seal and Bind, so I can't go in. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Mega Ether Particles. And hey, how'd you guys get back alive? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is the end of the fight. <laughs> particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? No, you wouldn't. Dorothea! Awaken, my darling pets! Just like she says. 
The High Entia are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. <laughs> I told you stuff was about to get real. <laughs> anyway, I am going to end off this part right here. So, on the next part of Xenoblade Chronicles, we are going to see what on earth is going on if we survived or or what is going on. Well, of course, we probably survived because there's going to be another part. But <laughs> anyway, peace out, everyone.